here we are making just a pit stop at the Spring Grove Cemetery in Hartford, which is just a hop, skip, and a jump from the Old North Cemetery, because here we're going to meet... Laurent Clare. Laurent Clare. is in section H, as well, in Herald. And, and so what we did is, we were so inspired to stop that we parked out on the street, <laughs> we walked all the way in, not realizing the cemetery is a bit larger. So here we go, we're gonna try to find section H. All right, can you hold this a second? Because now I have to tie my shoe. Sure. It's the shoe tying portion of our episode. It's the shoe tying portion. Here we are, section B, section A. Well, we didn't want to risk driving in because the gate looked so narrow. Yeah. So I'm going to guess that it's down. Okay, let's go. All right. Let's, we'll take a nice walk. Spring Grove Cemetery. Look at that amazing statue there. Yeah. Well, there's a lot of statuary here. Yeah. Wow. Well, that's good. At least the weather's nice for a nice walk. Yep. And check out the fall foliage. You can't beat it with a stick. Or any other way. <laughs> Should we get the car? Look at that. No, we had to walk all the way back. Look at that monument over there that it looks sort of... Like broken up rock? Broken up rock, kind of space age. Hmm. That's a really interesting gravestone. Oh my gosh, the cemetery is huge, Michael. Well, <laughs> you know what? Sarah, <laughs> through the magic of editing, we are now gonna, we're gonna instantly go to Laurent Claire's grave because <laughs> the editing people know how to do that. Oh yeah, look, here's section G, so we're not very far. We're not very far away from section H. Well, we went from A to B. Well, I'm guessing hey, that it's gridded out. It looks, does that look like an H down no, there? No, that's section S. I'm D gonna guess wait, that- No, way down, there's S, but right straight ahead of us. Is that section, it looks it's like, an, like an, e. an E. So if this is G, look, I'm, I'm gonna guess that H Let's is go. this way, that it's gridded out. Well, okay. Well, look, there's another sign right there. Okay. There's another sign right there. Besides, look how old this part looks. Yeah. Look at this gorgeous cast iron. Ooh, section F. So E, F, G. Ooh, is H over there then? If this is F. Hmm. Is it possible that, that H then is over there? <laughs> it is possible. <laughs> I wish I could figure out that looks like a B, maybe? Down? No, we had A No, B. down there. Then that's an E. E, F, G. Okay. Um, H would be over there. Maybe. E, F, G. But there's two signs there. Should we just go see? Well, yeah, let's go see so we can bear, get our bearings. <clears throat> Are you Googling a map of the cemetery by any chance? Well, I couldn't find one in all my research. Well, you know what? This could be an entire video just wandering around the Spring Grove Cemetery, and I'm okay with that. Okay. Oh, um, Michael, look, Section H. Section H. Hey, so that makes no we sense. found it. F, G, and then H is all the way over here. That's really but then great. E is that way. Ooh, all right. Come on, Mr. Claire. Laurent Claire. Okay, wait. We are looking for... Michael, the section's over here. I know, but no, I'm telling you the thing we're looking for is in a gate. Okay. His grave 
is in a gate. Well, section Which H is why is... I stopped oh, right there. Oh, 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 down there, down there, down there, there's a gate. Okay, right let's here go look. H. Look, follow that squirrel. Wow. There's a gate down there. Because section eight, H is huge. Now, Sarah, you, you know, an interesting thing to <laughs> point out is this, is that there are a lot of cemeteries, and many people watching this, your family members and grandparents and parents and siblings will be buried in a cemetery that is um, really manicured and well taken care of. Yeah. And then there's older cemeteries like this one. So if you look at this, this yeah. tree, it, you know, in s some cemeteries that would be cleared away, but here it is. I kind of like it. It feels very gothic, but it like also it. the sign at the beginning of the, when we first came in said, if you want to help restore and yeah. ma ma maintain the cemetery, call this number. Yeah, there's cemeteries in, uh, all over, big cities, small cities. Look how pretty that tree is. Also, this has a very different feel than the old North Cemetery, which we were just at. Yeah. Um, filming the Cogswells. Yeah, and it, that does. it feels so open. It really yeah. feels like this could have been a, um, what did they call those cemeteries? Um, like lands, not landscape, but um, the, like uh, oh. garden. Oh, yes, I believe his grave is right over here. Um, because the photo that you can find online shows a gravestone that is slanted. Okay. So let's walk down here. I bet there's going to be a path that goes between the graves. Wow, I love, I really like these. Look at that giant tree that's down it behind fell. it. Let's, let's take this, this little walkway right here. Wow, section H is huge. Yeah. Oh, look, there's a Gillette. There he is. Wow. Laurent Claire. And Eliza Claire. Laurent Claire. December 26, 1785. And he died in 1869. He was wow. born These... in Rhone, Rhone Alpes, A L P E S, France. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. What were you well, these are clearly newly erected stones. Yeah. I'm curious like what might be over here. What a beautiful design. Yeah. What does it say? Garden. No mowing or weed whacking, please. Oh, but look, we can go in. Oh my gosh, it's rusted shut. Hmm. hmm. Oh, look, there's a dedication. Oh gosh. Dedication in memory of Laurent and Eliza Claire, April 17th, 1998, by the Friends of the National Association of the Deaf, Gallaudet University Alumni Association, and American School for the Deaf. You can't see it, but that's what it says on the back of the, um, on the back of the stone. And they made a here. garden. Yeah, definitely. Look at that. Look how pretty it is. Here, I'm just going to film from this way. Hmm. Boy, I'm really glad we stopped. Dutton. Grapevine. Here's their son. You can't really make out at all what it says, but um, second second son of. Well, he had one. He had a son named Francis, and he had a son named Charles. Oops. Here's another headstone. Again, it's really hard. He can't can't make it out. How nice. Did 
you get that tree? Look at that. And look at that, it fell right between the monument. Well, if you look, there, there is that one red one that is knocked off Ooh, its pedestal. Yeah. Here, there was a really interesting tombstone over here this way. Look at these. They're bronze, I guess. Oh, wow. Or copper. Or, well, I'm assuming bronze. Look wow. at that. How beautiful. Mary wow. A. Bailey, Marion B. Reich. Reich, maybe? Look at this one over here. This. 1939. Wow, look at that. Wow, that's really interesting with that feather. Yeah. That's really cool. The Reich family. Look at these. Wow. Oh my gosh, this, this one has a, like a cameo on it. What a beautiful day to walk through a really beautiful cemetery. If I were an artist, I would totally just come here and plain air paint. Look at that amazing tree. A lot of wildlife in these cemeteries. Yeah. A bunch of groundhogs in the old North Cemetery, and then there's so many birds and squirrels here. But as you were saying, it seems like a wildlife paradise because you don't have traffic coming no. through. And it's clear that like groundhogs and, well, a animals can live in here with very few concerns. Right. Oh, look at that really big statue down there. Amazing. Oh, yeah. Boy, there's another one. They're like twin, twin, really like life-size stat, l larger than life-size statues. Huh. Down there, down there. Well, and, right. and you know, when you look around the cemetery, the, the section that Laurent Clare is in, at, at one point that had to be a really, you know, kind of secluded place to yes. have your have your your grave, your family plot. Yeah. And then if you look over here, those houses and things yeah. weren't there. Right. Uh, a long time ago, so perhaps this cemetery was a bit removed from town. Possibly. I'm I'm willing to bet. Look here. This is. Because this has this has two holes for mm -hmm. um, something. Is there another one? Yeah, right behind oh. you. Well, the, oh, th this is th these are the corners for some family plot. Yes, here and there's the there's the matching ones there. Oh, so yeah, yeah so this the, must be the, the Tainter family. The Tainter family had their. Oh, there's a bunch of crows. Wow. What a pleasant walk. Wow, so many birds. And it really goes on quite a ways down. Yeah. Well, we know where we're walking. Do we want to walk up this yeah, path? Yeah, let's walk up this we way because we came in down the other way. What a successful thing. Well, nice we remembered that Spring Grove was right next door to the... Well, if we road. hadn't driven around the, oh, that's true. the, the Old North Cemetery, um, we wouldn't have seen it. Right. So many different variations of how you can create a monument. Look at this one, this mon monolith. Obelisk? Monolith? Obelisk. Yeah. What's the like, difference between a monolith and an obelisk? Look at all of them. It's all, they're all peppered around. So many. It's such a contrast to the cemeteries where you cannot have tombstones. Yeah. Where you can only have ground plaques so they can mow more easily. Yeah. They're sort of like living museums. Yeah, they are. And libraries. Yes. In that you can, if you, if you take somebody's name, you can figure out a story. 
and so many amazing different names. Waitrose. I also think it's interesting how, you know, one side of a of a monument or a tombstone can be completely eradicated by the elements. Yeah. And then another side is is almost untouched. Yeah. And we're talking like yeah. a couple hundred year old, years old. Yeah. Oh, look, there's a Kellogg. Really pretty. Well, if you'd like to support the Spring Grove Cemetery here in Hartford, Connecticut, we'll show that number once again. That was serendipitous that we didn't turn in to drive. Yeah, it was nice to walk through it. Here's the little building. Office hours, Monday through Friday. Oh, there's a cremation garden. Wow. Wow. Our goal is to improve the conditions permanently. Call for details how to support. Well, thank you, Spring Grove Cemetery. You are a lovely resting ground.